Okay, so we're in the backyard. It says in the distance we can see three buildings. You should leave what you don't need here. All right, so we're going to leave lots of stuff behind. Let's see here. Curious, though, somebody had mentioned to me to use the axe on myself. So I'm kind of curious what will happen if I do that. Um, they told me, they wouldn't tell me. I had to find out for myself. So uh, let's see here. Where's the axe at? It's pretty far back here, if I remember correctly. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, as you were fooling around, the axe slipped out of your hand. Oh, no. Axe cut you. You're really bleeding. It looks like you're going to die. It looks like you're going to die here. <laughs> Too bad for your sister. Axe cut you. Your quest is over. Okay. Thank you for uh, suggesting that to me, friend. I uh, appreciate that. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this the right way. Well, we'll have some fun later with uh, some of these uh, random things we can do. All right. So in the backyard, we need to drop some things. Uh, let's drop them. Let's see here. Leave. Let's see what we need to get rid of. I don't know if we need a. See, I'm not sure what we need to keep and what we don't need. That's the problem. Um, I doubt we need a spatula. Well, it told me I could leave stuff here. It, it said, oh, you know what? That's okay. Let's, uh, let's use the salami. See what happens there. Okay. I hit use and it said drop it. Is it am I seeing that? Oh, what would, I like, what would I like to use it on? Uh, so, it's rotten and no longer edible. Okay. All right, let's, let's see if we can leave something else here. We Leave the plate. You ask yourself where you should leave this. Uh, I don't know. It told me to leave stuff behind if I didn't need it. Uh, is there a trash thing I'm missing? Oh, well, it looks like we're going to move on. Ah, here we go. You can't drop... Oh, my bad. I'm just going to move. Ah. All right, let's see here. Let's just do what sounds... What most people do and go to the middle one. You stand before the greenhouse. Okay, the glass is covered with dust. I'm sure I have to open the door. Can we use the water faucet here, or is that just, it might be a lead pipe, might not be a good idea. Okay. You can't take it, it's, it's too far into the ground, apparently. Uh, these point and click things, you never know what's important and what's not. Turning the handle opens and closes the faucet. So what if I hit it? What if I hit myself, huh? What if we do that? Have some fun with that. Knocking on wood gives you an idea. Okay. Tried to hit on myself. Anyways, let's move in. The plants within this greenhouse are very dead. I imagine so. Let's see here. Let's take the watering can. Let's see here. Huh. Oh, that water faucet. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Had to think for a second. So if we use the watering can on the water faucet, maybe that's what we got to do. I was thinking that water wasn't working. I knew it was here for a reason. 
As you turn on the faucet, water gushes out. What would you like to use this on? The watering can is completely full. Okay. I think we go back in here and water the plants now. Oh, hey, there's that little monster again. Just dancing a little jig. Bye, little monster. He comes into play later. Alright, so we're going to use the watering can. Let's fill up this bucket because we might need it more than once. What are those things? Up here, I thought, the, I thought we had to water these things. You can't take it. What about this one? Okay, well, let's go back and get some more water. We're trying to grow a plant uh, from that bucket is what we're doing. It's part of what we need to do. Alright, let's go back in. There goes our little dancing monster again. There's nothing we can do about him right now. Alright. I'd do it one more time. I love how these old games, instead of just giving you more content, they just had you do stuff over and over again to uh, make the game seem longer. So we're going to fill our watering can again. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Here we go. So if he dances again, I'm going to be mad. Okay, here we go. We're going to use the water one more time. Hey, what happens if we water these plants? Anything? Okay, anyways. Alright, so we're going to take this fruit. If we eat it, we die. So we're not going to eat the fruit. That's, that's one thing we're not going to do. I can't take the fruit. There we go. Alright. Now, if I remember right, we need to go to the chapel, the church looking thing. So let's let's head out there. I guess this is the chapel. Oh no. Uh, let's see here. Let's scare the dogs. Those dogs look weird. So we're going to use, and we're going to speak the thunder spell. I think that's what we're supposed to do here. Take too long, you die. Oh, that's probably why I should have got rid of some stuff. Uh, which one? There it is, thunder. You shouted thunder as loudly as possible. Suddenly, lightning begins to flash, and you hear a loud peal of thunder. At this, the dogs recoil. They put their tails between their legs and scamper away. The door is now unguarded. All right. So now let's open the door. Should have just fed the dogs a salami, don't you guys think? <laughs> okay, let's let's go in.
you stand in solemn awe in this abandoned house of worship. Yeah, uh, the place where all four people of the congregation could sit. You feel the presence of God. I mean, long dead worshipers. Yeah, all four of them, see? Two per bench. Um, what we do here is what you do, what, you, what, what preachers already do at most churches, and that's steal from people. So we're going to steal the goblet. And we're going to steal the candlesticks. Wait a second. Let's see here. Wow, you found a secret passage. If I've learned anything, it's not to just jump in holes or go up spiral staircases. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave that alone for now. Uh, pointing a rope or something. Uh, you know what? I'm going to show you guys uh, what happens if you go down here. It won't hurt anything. So first, we're going to save the game. I'll go ahead and show you guys this. It's pretty funny. You really don't want to climb down there. There's a spider down there that's bigger than a bread box. Because everybody knows what a bread box is, right? You really don't want to climb down there. Don't try to go down there. That spider's bad news. That spider's got a bad reputation in town. That spider's a drug dealer. You really don't want to climb down there. The spider that's down there would rip you to shreds and sell you some good grass. Well, what do you know? It's a giant spider, and you're not David Arquette. It crushes your tiny body in its large, powerful jaws and sells you some bad weed laced with... Uh, Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. Your quest is over. All right, seriously. We're not going down there. I know we have that spell for six legs or more, but it don't work. A self-righteous face. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see here. Let's try another spell. You shouted, oh, sesame, as loudly as possible. Big Bird, Bert and Ernie, Elmo, all come out and set in the pews and begin their worship of Oscar the Grouch. The marble bust speaks. It moans these words. Oh, my God, it's so horrible. I'm just ahead. Oh, my God, kill me. Kill me, please. Let the door be opened for this poor strayed lamb, but he must not travel in darkness. As soon as the statue stops speaking, the door opens. Ah, we can go over there now. All right, let's go over there. Let's see here. Uh, first, we got some stuff all ago. Let's uh, let's let's use it. I know we had some matches. Did we already use all the matches, or do we get to keep those? Oh my god, we took a lot of shit out of that house. Why are we such hoarders? Why did you let me do this? When the flame is put near the candles, it starts burning. Holy shit. That blows my mind. This game is... <laughs> blow my mind. Uh-oh. You step into a large yard. Wait. 
me see here. You can see a stone maze in the distance. Ah, oh, it's a ghost. It's a sheet ghost. Those things are all over Ghostbusters too. A horrifying apparition in the shape of a classic ghost swoops down upon you like a bird of prey. Wait, like uh, Harley Quinn? The thing's offended by the flames and flies off to its supernatural. It's not scared of the flames, it's offended by them. It is canceling flames. Flames have been canceled, folks. Hashtag no more flames. Hashtag fuck off flames. Hashtag ghosts say fuck flames. Uh, so now that he's gone, we can go to the maze. This is where things get fun, folks. Oh my goodness. You feel that you are lost in a very strange place. Really, the door is directly behind me, I thought. But okay. What happens if I just, I don't know, do this? Am I really that lost? Oh, I'm not lost anymore. Alright, let's do this. Oh, this takes a little while. We're going to go north. Ooh, what's that? There are letters engraved on the stone. It's from Sesame Street. Today's le today's episode is brought to you by the letter F. Uh, it is very hard to read them. The Blockley Gym is in the deep place. Yeah, that's what she said. All right. Let's move to never eat soggy wheat. We're going to go west. West. Let's see here. We're going to go north. We can only go north. Ooh, what does this say? The pendant can protect you from the undead. Uh-oh, we got some undead coming. Oh, this part I'm not sure where to go. Let's see. I think we go east here. Oh, that's where we came from. So, let's see here. We're going to go west. We're going to go west. North, north, let's see here, what does this say? The bouncing creature loves things that fly. Okay, I think we go north here. Ooh, I might have got us lost, folks. Ah, I don't know. Uh. Whew. No, let's go back to the zombies. Ah! Can I even? Do they? Do they not do anything to me? Can I hit them? Should we hit them? Uh. All right. Let's see here. I think this. This was our mistake. I think we were supposed to go east here. And then east again. East one more time. Ah, no, it's not that way. Ah! Ah! Well, now we're zombies too. Great. Alright, so we don't want to go east, right? No! None of them even look like that zombie. Let's see here. Uh, what do I do here? I think we're going to go... I said east there was wrong. We'll go north. Can only go north now. 
Ooh, what do we got there? It's a tombstone. Luckily, your name hasn't been carved into it, asshole. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit it. We're gonna hit this thing and see what happens. A zombie suddenly appears. Now, he doesn't come out of the ground, folks. He just suddenly appears. And his good arm is a strong hand. That little... Oh, it's a nub. Okay, he's falling. This zombie is falling to pieces. Uh, I think to defeat it, we have to use what that thing said. And that was the pendant we got at the very beginning of the game. I'm pretty sure. There's no... If we try to move, he kills us. And it's the same uh, thing from earlier. So we're going to go up here to uh, Pendant. I want to use it on the zombie. A mysterious light suddenly shoots out of the Pendant. The zombie is blasted right in the face. A blue Nimbus engulfs the body of the zombie. And with a flash, disappears. Never to be seen again. Or unless you come back to this room and hit the tombstone again. Alright, so we came north there. I think we need to move east. We're gonna keep. We're gonna go east. We're gonna go east again, guys. This maze is crazy. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're gonna use this again. Blast him in the face, right? This thing's getting the money shot. I think now we move east one more time. We move south. Oh, I think I made a wrong turn somewhere. Okay. What if I hit it? Will some will zombie come out of it too? Sure did. Let's give him the money shot, folks. Alright, what does this tombstone say? Here lies Fred, choked on bread, and now he's dead. On the tombstone are the words, A rose is but a rose. You wonder what the message could possibly mean. A rose by any other name would just be just as uh, confusing. We're going to use flowers. I think we need to leave flowers here. I know we got a bouquet of flowers earlier, right? Yes, we did. There it is. Okay. Huh. Let's see here. can't remember exactly what we do here. As a gesture of kindness, you put the bouquet at the foot of the headstone. The foot of the head. The tombstone slides away, revealing a secret passageway. That's a hell of a place for a tombstone. I mean, what what the hell? People never heard of fucking doors. Uh, let's see here. We got to go in, I guess. Never sounds like a good idea, but here we go. Okay. Let's see here. Three cages have been sealed within the far wall of the maze. Uh, what's this? I'm just curious what happens here. I can't move that way, really. Okay, so we need to open this. I know we have keys. Let's use our keys. I don't know where our keys are. I'm sorry. 
got so much shit. I really shouldn't listen to them. Why did I take so much stuff? Alright, let's see here. The cage is unlocked. Suddenly, something jumps out of the cages. Three animals jump out of the cages. They are confused by their freedom and new surroundings and sit perfectly still for you. Then, the cat eats the bird and the snake eats the cat. We are going to take a bird, folks. Here we go. Shit. 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 My bad. The cat, the bird, and the snake are going to eat me. I've been pecked to death. I've been birded to death, scratched to death, and poisoned. Good Lord. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Always, always something here on Retro Horror Gaming. It's going to be a great time, guys. Ah, I saw the key. I wonder what key number... Oh, I don't have a key number, too. I just have a key P. Ah. All right, so there's our animals. We're going to use the cage now. Let's see here. You grab the hawk and put it in the cage. Suddenly, the snake attacks the cat. It is amazingly swift. It is amazingly Taylor Swift. The snake's middle quickly swells up. Yeah, it ate the goddamn cat. Oh, my God. So so now what do I do? Do I... Let's see here. Let, let, let's save for first things. Do I hit this snake? Uh, okay, do I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, let's see here. Nope, that's where our zombies are. We'll get out of here, and we'll get out of here, too. Oh, wait, we can go south there. Let's, let's see what happens if we go south. That snake's just chilling. Uh-oh, Meatwad's attacked, folks. He's he's left the hunger force, and he's after us. Oh, what do we do? Yeah, it's Meatwad. It bounces up and down. There's some kind of jewel beneath him that he pooped out. Um, we're going to open the cage, folks. We're going to open the cage. As soon as you open the cage... The bird flew off. That's a tiny bird. It was huge a second ago. Does Meat... Oh, Meatwad wants the bird. Looks like Meatwad fucked the moon from Majora's Mask and they had a baby. The strange creature was utterly fascinated by the bird. It gave chase to eat it. I don't know how we have that information. Well, there you go. Exactly. Well, there you go. Let's take this uh, Joel here. I can't take... Oh, okay. God, it's so hard to move. This The, the controller is so hard to move sometimes on this. Um, so, yeah. We take the jewel. And then what? We can't go anywhere else. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We have some more spells, don't we? Telemaze, telefriend, telegram, telepath. Tell a lie, tell a truth. Tell a friend about the channel. 
And we out of that maze, folks. Uh, so now we're going to go to the last building from the backyard. It can probably do it. I, I think that it, it most likely did and can because it just did it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go to the last building we have left now other than the main house. Yeah, Sesame Street Church is not in service right now. All right, so now we're going to go to the left. Magisterium. Magisterium, I don't know. You stand at the entrance of a large domed building. All right, let's see here. Uh, I think we have to use what we just got. Which means going through all of our property again. Why can't I just hold it down and get to the end? I need a turbo controller just to get through. That'd be the one thing to use a Nintendo turbo controller on uh, for this game. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're going to use the jewel on the door. Nothing happens. Okay, on the lock. Huh. Can't maybe up here in this little shape here. There we go. Oh, it fits perfectly. Snug fit. And uh, the gym begins sending off sparks, and everything explodes. You've destroyed the mansion and killed your sister. Your quest is over. Uh, the silver orbs have something to do with this. <laughs> Voila! The door opens. It only took me an hour and like five edits to figure that out. Here we go. Hey, Slimer's here. Oh, wait, that's Muncher. Ghostbuster Afterlife reference. As soon as you enter the room, you are shocked to discover a floating blue creature. It looks like a humongous bot fly that popped out of a hole in someone's body. In a very satisfying manner. It seems to be some sort of guardian. You hear it hiss something about food. Okay, so... We'll use food. Well, maybe that fruit we got earlier. Suddenly, the strange creature's hungry eyes light up. It attacks the fruit and swallows it down with one gulp. Satisfied, the hideous creature named Justin Bieber belches and disappears to record another album. What will happen now? Bye, little creature. Okay. Um, we need to go to the observatory. So let's let's go there. Let's open let's figure out where that's at. I'm pretty sure it's where the star is at. Ah, you heard that. Alright. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. You wonder what kind of experiments were performed in here. Uh, I don't really want to find out right now, so let's uh, let's not find out. All right. I guess that wasn't the observatory. Yeah, it's... Okay, all the other rooms are tiny, tiny. This one says it's dominated by a telescope. But the telescope is, like, minuscule compared to the size of this room. Whatever. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Let's examine the book. You turn a few pages of the book... The language of this text is indecipherable to you because you never learned French. Um, let's see here. Actually, I feel like we're not in the right room. Let's see. This door has no markings on it. Okay.
A heavy iron lid is set into the floor. Okay. Um, open. No, it's right in front of me this whole time. Here we go. Let's see here. I was thinking the floor was the safe. I'm crazy. Let's see here. We're going to open it. Oh, the stuff from earlier. Okay, so... Let's see here. Seven, nine, four, seven, eight, oh. Ah, we did it. That was the correct combination. Now open up that briefcase, deal or no deal. Oh, all we got was a jar. All right. Let's break that sucker open. What have we got that can break something? I've got the axe, right? Let's use that axe. Where's my axe? My axe is my butty. I never leave without him. Me and my axe will make your neck a bloody fountain. Chop, chop, chop. All right. Some people get that reference. Uh, let's see. Let's use it on the damn jar. Hey, we got a cookie. Hey, I told you Sesame Street people, cookie monsters out here. Uh, no, I, I wanted that damn cookie. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it for here. I guess we're here. I guess we're done here. Um, Ooh, the cookie. That monster that's always dancing around. Let's go see if we can find him somewhere. Let's see here. see here. Huh. Let me, let me see here. What could we... Do we have something we can put the kit it on? Okay, so maybe we have to put the cookie on that plate somehow. Oh, I see. Take the cookie. Leave the cookie. Maybe we gotta use the cookie on the plate? Is that is that what we gotta do here? We sure did. There he is. Eat that cookie. Give us that key. Cookie monster took the cookie and left us a key. Which really isn't that good of a trade. A cookie's delicious. A tea has kind of a metallic taste to it. A little coppery. So we're going to take that key. Mm. 
Now we need to go back, back to where we were earlier. Back to the Magister, magi, Magister, the building on the left. I can do whatever I want to. My mommy told me I could. Liar. Alright, let's use this key. Let's see here. Let's see here. We'll go down there, I reckon. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I fell. I should have went down slower. Oh, this is a naked. This is a cigarette factory. Okay. All right. So let's uh, go forward. Oh God! It's that giant spider from earlier. Is it poison or venom? Let's uh, use that spell on him. Six legs or more, right? I'm arachnophobic, and this is bad graphics, but it's still bothering the shit out of me. Got to use it quick. The spider's movements grind to a halt. It seems to have gone to sleep. Oh, it's so cute. But we need to get out of here. Let's go the way we're supposed to go. Ooh. It's mysteriously frozen. Eh, let it go. Just let it go. Don't hold back anymore. Uh, let's see here. Oh, hello. Hey, he's going to teach us some uh, Kung Fu and stuff, right? It's the Karate Kid guy. He says, you've come. I've been waiting for you. Please listen to me. Long ago, I dueled with my disciple, Drakan, in this place. I can find him here in the ice, but his power was too much for me. I am now forever locked in this dimension, with only the ability to project my image into this cave. You're like the 20th person I've tried to get to help me. Please help. Can I ask a favor of you, son? Send the sleeping Drakan in the ice away into the dark world. With that, the old man disappears. Bye-bye. All right, guys, that star earlier uh, burns ice and freezes fire, remember? So uh, let's see if we can get that star. Ice. The hell was that? Huh? Ah. What? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We gotta follow that body. Follow that body. Follow that body. Thought the old man couldn't come back. Hurry before he can wake. You must eject him into the dark world. Do as I request. Well, thanks for the guidance there and instructions, asshat. The current suddenly pulls you under, and you are swept away. Sputtering, you stand up in the water. It's probably freezing cold, too. Um, let's see here. Uh, maybe I need to use Dracon. Uh, let's use him on the toilet bowl. It looks like a giant toilet bowl. His bone echoes for quite some time. You don't know if he's doing something or falling. Uh, gradually fading. Hey, we saved the world. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's get out of here.
Hey, I think we're we're just about done, guys. Are you kidding me? It, it won't open. Uh, do we have a key left? There we go. Where are we at now? Oh my goodness, we're in, we're. Our sister's voice is crying out. It sounds like it's coming from above you. Suddenly, the screaming stops. Oh, well, that's not... I guess she's dead. Game over. Game over, everybody. No? Okay, let's keep going. Uh, do I keep going south? Oh, wow. This took us right back to where we started. Okay, that's cool. Can I go in the fireplace over here? Right now I'm just going in circles. What the hell? Is this really happening to me? Am I am I that bad at the uh, map here? Oh. There we go. Oh my god, I'm horrible at this. Can't do that. Can't do that. Now, which room was Dracon's? Was it... Oh, she's crying out. Your sister must be on this floor somewhere. You must be getting close. Well, yeah, if I can hear her screaming. I don't know what to do. Uh, fuck it. Let's go in here. This is your con's bedroom. As you enter the bathroom, you smell a really bad stench. Whoever was in here before did not have the courtesy of a courtesy of a courtesy flush. Oh no, it slammed shut behind us and she's screaming. Is she in the bathtub? She's above us, okay. So uh shit, I don't know. We turn on all the water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, it's filling rapidly. The drain doesn't appear to be working correctly. Oh no, 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 no. Ah! Ah! Well, let me go up there. Shit. Oh, my God. It's my sister who's nightmare fuel because she has no face. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. It's your big sis. At last you found her. Wait, she was screaming a second ago. Watch. Why isn't she? Okay. You know what? She's pissed me off. I'm going to throw her out the window. Okay, I can't do that. I'm just going to hit her. I'm just going to beat the shit out of my sister. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, I actually was able to slap her? Oh my god, what the hell is that? It screeches at me? That looks like Bowser. The spi Okay, if you've ever played Mario and Luigi uh, Superstar Saga, it looks like Valletta. Cack, Letta, and Bowser merge together. That is fucking Bowser from Mario Brothers right there. His spirit. This little one is too weak for me. I need new blood and a stronger body. Do you know where I can find one? You look like a little pissant. You looked at your reflection earlier. You did not look too good, remember? He needs me. He will have me. No means no, buddy. No means no. Wait, what? 
Why don't you jump out? In horror, your sister shakes her head, gets up, and jumps out the window. Now that she's, she's safe, she jumped out the window on the top floor. Okay, not asking any questions. All right, you know what? We have the goblet. We got that from the church. Drink this, you say, as you splash the water on the spirit. The Sesame Street holy water crackles his skin. He screams in pain at the touch of the water. Today's show was brought to you by the letter F. In an instant, the menacing apparition fades into nothingness, leaving no tangible evidence of his having been there. All right, let's go find our sister now, our sister. You climb through the window out onto the balcony. You are surprised that the air is so mild. In fact, a warm, pleasant, I don't know, breeze wafts past. You still smell that horrible smell from the bathroom. You wish you had used some for breeze. A bright, warm sun begins to shine through the clouds. Then you see your sister. Sis, sis, you're okay, you shout as you hug her. Of course I am, silly. But your princess is in another castle, she says. I just went into this house a couple of minutes ago. At least it seemed like a couple of minutes ago. I guess I fell asleep. Boy, what a nightmare I had. You hug your sister again, thanking heaven above that it's all over. Your sister is now herself again. You are aware of a sense of peace and triumph. It was a nightmare, wasn't it? She asked, right? Hesitantly, you see fear in her eyes. With a smile, you reply, Of course it was, sis. Just a real bad dream that I almost fucking died in. There's a giant goddamn spider under there. A little dancing creature that eats cookies. A fucking giant slime monster that for some reason likes fruit. Meatwad was here. You don't... You know what? Yes, it was a nightmare. You dumb bitch. Hope you're happy. Let's go home, okay? You say as you and your sister step into the warm golden glow of the summer sun. We can't take the car. We wrecked it. It's total. But guess what, sis? What's that, brother? At least it saved us a tow. The end, folks. That's the end of the game. Oh, my goodness. And our princess is... There she is, right there. Peace. Oh, she winked and hard at us, even though it's her sister. That's not weird at all. The end. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section if you would like to see a uh, follow-up video. I can show you different ways you can die in the game, uh, different paths you can take in the maze, things like that. Let me know if, if, if any of you guys want to see that. I'll definitely make a follow-up with that. Uh, but pretty much all you got to do is uh, download an emulator, get the ROM of the game, or you can actually get Uninvited, Deja Vu, and Shadow Gates uh, for PS4 and Xbox right now. Um, I know I mentioned before about maybe going back and visiting some of the death scenes of the game and different paths you can take. Uh, it's pretty cool. In the in the maze, you can go to different graves, and uh, if you hit the if you hit the coffins, if you find them, you, you meet the people inside, the zombies. Uh, no, but they say some funny things. Some characters from some other games by this company. Uh, their names are on the headstone, stuff like that. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of ways you can die in this game. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. I'll be back very soon uh, with Retro Horror Gaming Episode 3. And uh, just do a little hint. Pleasant dreams! There you go. We're going to be playing A Nightmare on Elm Street. The LJN Nintendo Entertainment System game. Uh, for Episode 3 of Retro Horror Gaming. Until then, this has been your friend the neighborhood 80 slash your librarian saying thanks for watching, be excellent to each other, and hey, if you total your car, at least you saved yourself a tow. Be safe out there. Love you all. Good night.